Now question number 106, in angiosperms, microsporogenesis and megasporogenesis is? So you know that the microsporogenesis, it is a process in which microspore mother cell, they undergoes meiosis and after that results in the formation of haploid microspores. Fine. Similarly, megasporogenesis, it is a process in which megaspore mother cell can also be written as MMC undergoes meiosis and results in the formation of haploid megaspores. Fine. Now the microsporogenesis, this is a process which occurs in anther and megasporogenesis, it is a process which occurs in ovule. Fine. Now the microspore and the megaspore, they form gametophyte. Yes, the microspore, it forms male gametophyte and in the male gametophyte after mitosis, there is formation of male gamete. In the megaspore, the megaspore forms female gametophyte and here also after the division, so I have discussed the seven celled eight nucleated structure is formed which bears female gamete. So if we look into the options, now occurs in ovule, no, one in ovule, one in anther, yes, this is also incorrect, forms gametes without further division, no, after the meiosis, now the mitosis will occur to form the gametes, involves meiosis, yes, so this is the right option. So here the answer is 4. Now moving to the question 107. So this is a very simple question which also came in the previous All India PMT exam. A gene showing co-dominance has. So you know that in the case of the co-dominance, both the alleles, they express themselves in the heterozygous condition. One of the best example for this is AB blood group. AB blood group. So, a person having AB blood group has this genotype. This is the genotype of the person. The two alleles they are present. IA forms antigen A and the IB form antigen B. Both IA and IB they show their expression in the heterozygous condition. This is called codominance. So what would be the right option here? Option number one. So answer is one. So let's move on to the next question. 108. 